Welcome to the first quiz of the Pro Quizzing League Clash of the Titans. This is the history and heritage quiz. The six cities are going to play the Clash of the Titans Pro Quizzing League. The quizzers who are playing today. So there's Dr. Ranjan Rai Choudhury representing the Kolkata Wizards. Ravi Mantoli from Chennai Erudits. Abhinav, the captain of the Mumbai team, is right here. Dr. Bhattacharya from Delhi, the Delhi Brainiacs and Devoshi from Bangalore Aces and Siddhant from the Global Geniuses. Those are the six players of the first quiz today and we go straight into the rounds. Okay, the first question for Chennai it is. This specific dye was first produced by Phoenicians as early as 1570 BC. It was prized due to the rare quality of becoming brighter with weathering and sunlight rather than fading. Which dye am I talking about? And your options are? Uh, Tyrian purple. You're going for Tyrian purple? Let's see the answer. It's Tyrian purple. Plus 20 for Chennai. You rock the block with the first question. The second one goes to Bangalore. You are direct Bangalore. Ready for the question? Yep. Here it comes. Birthplace of a famous German, which city served as the provisional capital of West Germany from 1949 to 1990? prior to the reunification of Germany. And your options are Bonn, Frankfurt and Mainz. Bonn. You're going for Bonn? Yep. And Bonn is the right answer. So plus 24 Bangalore, again off the block. Third Bombay, question number three. Maluti village is home to a cluster of terracotta temples. Of the original 108 temples, 72 are still intact. These temples are dedicated to the goddess Mo Lakshmi, the eldest sister of Tara. In which Indian state is Maluti? So there's Jharkhand, West Bengal, or Uttar Pradesh. Bombay of five more seconds. Um, I'll go with Jharkhand. You go with Jharkhand. And you get a plus 20 for going with Jharkhand. Was there a guess? Yeah, complete. Was there a complete <laughs> guess? So it was Sadly, a guess. I would have guessed West Bengal, which is <laughs> what a bad pong I am. Actually, which is exactly why I didn't guess it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so plus 20 to Bombay, and we go to the next question. It is to the team, the global geniuses. Yeah, question number four. Here it comes. The suicide of which charismatic leader in the late 1940s who served as foreign minister of his country remains one of the great mysteries of Cold War era. Now he was a non-communist man whose death was greeted with skepticism in the West. Your options are is free and we go for it. Um, I would say this is Jan Masaryk. You say it is Jan Masaryk and it is Jan Masaryk plus 20 for the Global Geniuses. Everyone going off the block with this next one for Delhi. Okay, which historical city, the second largest of the state, is named after an Asur? whose body became sacred on performing strict penance and eventually being blessed by Lord Vishnu. And your options are? Mysuru. You're going for Mysuru. Let's check the answer. No, you're wrong. That Gaya. So Gaya is the is the city that is named after Gayasura, not Mysuru. Okay. Last question, Calcutta. The wizards, 
Question number six of the first round of this quiz. Here it comes. Which battle, considered to be the first recorded battle, was fought between Egyptian forces under the command of Pharaoh Thutmose III and a large rebellious coalition of Canaanite Kanani vassal states led by the king of Kadesh? And your options are? Five seconds to go. Uh, Battle of Uma, I think. I'm not sure. For Battle of Uma. And the correct answer oh, is the Battle of Megiddo. Okay, so that was the first round of the quiz. And most of the teams are off the block. Let's have a quick check at the scores. Chennai Aerodits on 20. Bangalore Aces on 20. Mumbai Geeks on 20. Global Geniuses on 20. And Delhi. Brainiacs and Kolkata Wizards are yet to open the record. Round 2 is chance double. Now there are 12 questions in this round. 6 clockwise, the other 6 goes anti-clockwise. You get 10 for a direct or bonus. Now you can go for a double as many times in this round by saying I go for a double before answering the question. On the double, you get a plus 20 for a correct or a minus 10 for incorrect. So you can take your chances here. And again, you get 20 seconds to answer on a direct question and ideally no time for the uh, for the bonus part of the question. So we can double on a bonus as well? You can double any time. There's no problem. So for a plus 20 or a minus 10. Okay. The first six goes clockwise. And we start with Chennai. Okay, the lyrics to this nursery rhyme indirectly refers to a famously intolerant Pona. While the theme in the rhyme is primarily gardening, there is also direct reference to a couple of torture devices. You have to give me the name of the monarch. Uh, I'll go for double. You go for a double here. This is uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary? Yeah. If you get it correct, you get a plus 20. If it's wrong, you get a minus 10. And let's look at the answer. The answer is Queen Mary 1 or Bloody Mary oh. gives you a plus 20 Chennai. Next question goes to Bangalore. Look at the picture carefully. Believed to be descended from the Jomon people, they were the original natives of a particular place. Name this ethnic group. Um, it's the Ainu. You're going for Ainu? Yeah. And Ainu is the right answer. Very good. It's the people from of Japan, the Ainus of Japan. You get a, you get plus ten. You didn't go for a double, right? No, uh, no, I didn't. Oh, you didn't go for a double. It's a plus ten. Uh, direct for Mumbai. What did this multi-talented aristocrat advocate and introduce to the British society in the 18th century, which she had even tried on a daughter in order to convince others? Um, so I'll say this is the white wedding trousseau. White wedding trousseau is not the right answer. I'll pass on. It goes to Global Geniuses. Um, I'll pass. Oh, you're passing again, Global Geniuses. I'll pass on to the Delhi Brainiacs. Uh, is this uh, the vaccination? For, I mean, she was uh, smallpox vaccination and all what Edward Jenner did. She she was one of the blue stockings who did it for. 
Bang on, plus 10, Team Delhi. That's the smallpox vaccination. Brilliant answer. Of course, she came, she got the idea from Turkey and introduced it to the Western medicine years before Edward Jenner had developed the, the safer smallpox vaccine. Very good answer. That was direct to Bombay. Now, the next question goes to Global Geniuses, the team from Chicago today. Question four. George Salmon, the then head of Trinity College, had he said, women will enter this college over my dead body. That's why there is a certain tradition followed at the statue of Salmon by every female after she graduates. So what do they do? What is the tradition? So I would guess that uh, they, uh, so I, uh, no, I'm not going for a double. Um, I guess they just place their motorboard hats on the top of his head. On top of his head. That was yeah. a nice guess, but that's not the right answer. Pass on to Delhi Brainiacs, if you can pick up a bonus. Um, they kind of uh, uh, cross over a step, jump over a, uh, over his grave, uh, something like that. Oh, they jump over the grave. I, I don't know whether the grave is... Grave stone. Okay, I pass on. That's not the right answer, unfortunately. Um, what are the reasons? I think they have to... I'm not doubling this, it's just a guess. So I think they have to... They, they actually climb over the statue. They're going over the statue. Okay, that's the only answer you're giving? Wow. Well, mm. Okay, they're, they're climbing over yeah, the statue. I can't think of anything more. They, <laughs> they have to climb over the statue in their graduation gowns. In the graduation gowns. Okay, no, not the right answer. I'll pass on to Chennai erudits. Yeah. Uh, I think they, they rub the statue's foot for good luck. For good luck. They love the statues put for good luck. Good guess on that. Uh, Bangalore? Um, stepping over the statue is already taken. So that leaves <laughs> with, I don't know, they jump into the uh, college door from his statue. Oh, they jump onto the college door from the statue. Okay. Yes. I can see it will be kind of hard. Okay, okay let's, let's, let's listen what Mumbai has to say. Uh, yeah, actually every possible guess is taken. So we just say that uh, there's a tradition of taking a photograph next to his statue with the diploma clearly displayed. Okay, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice tradition to, to come up with, but it's a little old to take photographs in front of a statue. Okay, so it comes back to the quiz master for a change. And uh, here is the answer I'll share with you. The answer is, it's a yearly tradition uh. for people to graduate. Ah, uh. uh. oh dear. Yeah. Mm. So to put lipstick, sit on the statue's lap and give it a kiss. I did actually That's think of sitting on his lap, but that seemed a bit, hmm. yes, <laughs> Okay, uh, direct for uh, Delhi, right? Okay, here it comes. Delhi, you're direct. Valentina, a restaurant waitress, is the supposed model for what that took shape in the late 1960s in Russia. Five seconds. Uh, she is a, a model for uh, the first uh, women space flights. Uh, I mean, encouraging women to go for Valentina Tereshkova's uh, this thing. Uh, so, mm, so first I mean, space flight, nothing to do with that. Right? To Calcutta. Um. Was she the model on which they based the Motherland statue to make a memory right. Absolutely right. Brilliant answer. Last 10 to the other wizards. 
she was the model of the model motherland calls of course that's the answer okay direct for for the wizards here it comes which revolutionary enlightened rule was inaugurated on october 23rd 1868 and set in motion a series of important changes in the concerned country on the right you see the changes that this rule brought there was land reform in the countryside factory methods of production in the cities and reorganization of the military according to the european models ah uh. Oh, um, hmm, 1868, and reform, uh, second, I, this is a guess, um, okay, this is Kamal Ataturk in Turkey. No, oh, probably the date's wrong. Pass on to Chennai. Uh, I'll go for the plus 20. Plus 20 on this, okay. I think this is after the uh, Meiji restoration in Japan. You get a plus 20 on that, very good answer. This is the Meiji restoration in Japan. Plus 20 to Chennai. We go anti-clockwise from here. Last six of this round is anti-clockwise. The first one goes to Kolkata. And here's your direct. Believed to have resulted from centuries of mm -hmm. ink reading, this distinctive deformity took its name after which dynasty? One of the important sovereign dynasties of Europe its downfall mm. was brought upon by its practice of inbreeding. And this, this out double. This is the Habsburg chin. This is the Habsburgs of the Holy Roman Empire. You doubled it and you get a plus 20 on this. This is the Habsburg jaw, of course, from the Habsburg dynasty, which ruled across the Europe from 16th to the start of the 18th century. Plus 20 for Kolkata wizards on this. Direct for Delhi Brainiacs. At one point, the Greeks used a writing style called Gostropeden, which proceeded from left to right on the first line, right to left on the second with mirrored alphabets, back again on the third, and so on. What does this system of writing literally mean or translate to in English? Uh, basically, uh, I want to double this. You want to double this? Okay. So this is uh, the writing style which happens when you plow the field with a pair of bullocks or uh, or ox. So you go from right to left and then you turn and again you go on the alternate side and then again it's right to left. So it is from the, uh, the uh, bullocks or ox is uh, the way okay, it proceeds on the field. I take your answer and you get a plus 20 on this. This is as the ox plows. So turning like an ox in, in plowing. So that's a very good answer. Plus 20 for the Libraniacs. Direct for the global geniuses. Okay, here you go. In October 1917, death penalty was abolished in the newly socialist state of Russia. What prompted its restitution the very next year in 1918? So I would say that they wanted to kill some members of the royal family, and that's why they. That's why. Wanted to no, not the death penalty. Not quite. Pass on to the Mumbai team. So there was an assassination attempt on Lenin in 1918, uh, which kind of led to this. So hang on, plus 10. You could have doubled on this. I Mumbai. should have. Plus 10. Shucks, I should have. Now that's Fanny Kaplan's unsuccessful assassination attempt on Lenin, and you could have got a few more points here. You were so sure about it. Mumbai, you're direct. Okay, here you go. A formation on the near side of Earth's moon that served as the landing site for the American Apollo 14 mission in 1971 is named after a famed 15th century Italian cartographer. Who?
Five seconds. I don't know. I'll just say Andrea Del Sarto. No, no, that is not the right answer. Pass on to Bangalore Aces. I will double, and I hope I don't regret this. Uh, Mercator. I didn't get the answer again. Mercator. No, not the right Alpha. answer. I understand. Uh, my understanding. Bangalore, Chennai. Oh, we should name an Italian. Uh, let us say Bellini. No, not the right answer. Uh, Kolkata, yes. No idea. Pass. No idea. Delhi. Uh, um, Amerigo Vespucci. No, no, not Amerigo Vespucci. Uh, Global Geniuses. Bossini. No, Mumbai. It's my direct. It was your direct, right? So yeah. comes back to the quiz master again. It's not Cassini. Not Cassini, of course. No, the is Tramaro. Okay. <clears throat> okay. That's the place where the Apollo 14 was supposed to land. That's Tramaro. Mm -hmm. This is direct for Bangalore. This is yeah. Here comes the question number eleven. At the time of its completion, after 632 years in 1880, it was the tallest building in the world. Today, it is one of Germany's most visited landmarks. What am I talking about? Actually, the Cologne Cathedral. Bang on, plus okay. 10. Damn, I forgot to double. Plus ah, 10. You should have doubled. Oh. Oh, this is the Cologne Cathedral. You could have doubled. It's plus 10 for that. I was going to get too excited. Not <laughs> Okay. Uh, last question of this round to Chennai. And here it comes. Look at the map on the right. What has a British diplomat who served in the South African Boer War and a French diplomat who was appointed High Commissioner in Palestine and Syria has to do with this picture on the right? Just look at it carefully and you can work out the answer. I will double. Okay. And so this is the this is how the this is the Sykes Pico oh. agreement and this is how they decided to split the Ottoman territories after the First World War. Another plus twenty for Chennai. They're picking up plus twenty in this round. I think you got three plus twenties in this round. Let's look at the scores at the end of the second round of the quiz as we go into the third round. Let's see where we are. Chennai Erudits leading the quiz with 80. Followed by Bengaluru Aces, Mumbai Geeks, Delhi Brainiacs, and Kolkata Wizards on 30 each. And Global Genius is still on 20. Here is round three, the final frontier. Again, 12 questions, 6 clockwise, 6 anti clockwise. You get 10 for a direct and 20 for a bonus. Interesting, no negatives. There's no negative here. 20 seconds okay. for question on delay. If you can hold on to 20 your... 20 for bonus. 20 for bonus, yes. If you can hold on to your question, you can answer your question, then the other teams don't get you score plus one. That's how we look at this round. Okay? So so on the direct, I get a 10, or by, and if it passes, the next team gets a 20. Is that... Okay? Yeah. Yes, that is how it is. Interesting. Okay. That's the last round of this quiz. 12 questions on that. We'll start with Chennai, six clockwise, six anti-clockwise. The first six of the clockwise questions, here it comes. Question one, Chennai. Possibly the first great pandemic, this ran from 165 to 180 AD and may have claimed the life of a Roman emperor, Lucius Vidas. By what name do we know the plague? Uh, I don't know, the great bubonic plague. No, not quite the right answer. Good time to ask this question when we are running with the coronavirus issue here. Okay, passes on to Bangalore. You want to try? For a uh, 20. I mean, you've already given a name of the emperor, so I don't think it counts, but plague of Justinian? Not 
the plague of Justinian pass on Mumbai? Um, I'll say it's the Vespasian plague. Not the Vespasian plague. Noble? I think this was called the Great Roman Plague. Not the Great Roman Plague. Uh, Delhi? I think it's the Antoine Plague. Antonian Plague. Last 20, Delhi. Brilliant answer. Nice. That is that the Antonian Plague or the Plague of Galen. Of course, it's very good answer, Delhi. You get a plus 20 on this. Direct for Bangalore. Although she died, Rebecca Rolf, wife of John Rolf, Countess. more famous oh. by another name. She was, the daughter of a, okay, she was the daughter of a tribal. Let me read the question again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There are people who will be, will be want to read. The, yeah. Okay. Although she died, Rebecca Rolf, wife of John Rolf, she is more famous in history by another name. She was the daughter of a tribal chief in the Tidewater region of the Atlantic coast. How do we know her better? Pocahontas. Yes, Bangalore. Bangalore is going to give the answer. Good. She's given the answer. Pocahontas. Can you give it again? Oh, I couldn't hear. Pocahontas. Guys, can you ah. not hear? Now yes. heard you. Oh, now that's weird. Clear. Okay. Yes, that's the right answer. Of course, the Pocahontas. Plus 10 to Bangalore. A bit of airbrushing. <laughs> okay. Direct for Mumbai. Here it comes. Statue in Mozambique. Identify the gentleman. I'll say this is Vasco da Gama. You say it's a Vasco da Gama and you're right in saying it's Vasco da Gama. Plus 10. Direct for Global. Your question comes now. This January 27 marks 75 years of a particular liberty event. A night before that, such display oh. of lights was projected. Identify the place. That would be good enough. So I would guess this is Auschwitz. You guessed it right. Plus 10. Very good. The answer is Auschwitz in Poland. Direct for Delhi Brainiacs. In 312 CE, bitter rivals Constantine the Great and Maxentius met in this battle outside Rome for leadership oh, of the gosh. Western Roman Empire. However, the outcome was a turning point in the rise of Christianity. By what name is the battle known, which takes its name from an important route over the Tiber? So Hello? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um. So time is running out. Uh, okay, this is. Uh, so we pass. Okay, I pass on to Kolkata. I can't remember either. Uh, um, I'm sorry, pass. Can't remember. Chennai, you're going for a win. I think this is, yeah, this is the Battle of Milvan Bridge. Get a plus 20, Chennai. Battle of the Milvan Bridge. Okay, okay great. Uh, this would be direct for Calcutta, right? Mm -hmm. Last question of the clockwise. Set here on the last round is the Haskell Free Library and Opera House is the world's only library of its kind. What's so unique about it? I agree in Opera House. The time is running out. Yes, 
Well, Kevin, need an answer or I pass on? It's the, um, the library just comprises the collection of the original owner of Haskell House. It's not a public library of that sort. The whole thing is just his collection that has been preserved. Okay, not the right answer, unfortunately. Chennai? Uh, it's the... Uh, it only has music. Only has music. Collection. No, pass on. Bangalore? It only has Shakespeare, please. No, not the right answer. Uh, Mumbai? Uh, I guess it's the only library that actually doesn't have a collection of books at all. So it's like if you, it's, it's more like a reading room. So a person can come with his or her own book and read it inside. Uh, so it doesn't really have a collection of books. No, not, not quite there. Uh, Genius uh, I would say that it only has books in Braille. Only have books in Braille. Interesting. Uh, in Delhi? Mm, I think uh, the opera plays uh, the opera plays host to only those operas uh, about which the books are there in the library. Something like that. So no, not the right answer either. So it comes back to me. Um, I'll share the correct answer. The, the answer to the question is: It's the only library to operate in two countries at once. Oh wow! Excellent. Both Americans That's and Canadians question. can enter the library without a passport. There's two different entrances for the countries. Okay. Fabulous question. Okay. I go to the last six. Kolkata, you're direct. Okay. Uthanthira is a prominent art form in the southern region of the Indian state of Kerala. The ritualistic performance is believed to do what? Mm. Believed to do what? I think it's believed to make rain happen. It makes it rain. Okay, believes to make rain happen. Not the right answer. Chennai? No, it goes this way, right? The other way around. It, goes, it goes this way, right? So Delhi. Delhi. Yeah. Mm, I mean, it commemorates uh, King Bali's uh, visit to Earth. I mean, that uh, the Vishnu Vamana avatar and... Uh, Not the right answer. Global geniuses? I would say that this drives away ghosts in the area. Drives away ghosts from the area. You get a plus 20 for that. <laughs> it cleanses oh, wow. spirits. Nice. Okay, good answer on that. Very good. Plus 20. An important plus 20, I believe, for the global team. Direct for in Delhi. Overeating of these against his physician's wishes led to a monarch's demise from food poisoning in France in the 12th century. Just identify the organism. Uh, snails? Snails is not the right answer. Uh, global geniuses? Um, I would say these are muscles. Muscles, not, not the muscles. Mumbai? I think these are lampreys. Last 20 for that. Yes. These are lampreys. Uh, Very good answer. Of lampreys. Five lampreys. Last 20 to Mumbai for lampreys. Direct for Global Genius. Identify this breed of dog, which has been very popular since the 17th century. Other than being popular amongst the artists, these were also given as gifts to the royalties.
um i would say this is a scottish terrier scottish terrier is not the right answer pass on to mumbai so it's a corgi not a corgi pass on bangalore uh, king charles cavalier i'll give you a plus 20 on this daniel uh, charles spaniel charles spaniel yeah charles spaniel so i give you a plus 20 on this bangalore good good crack direct for mumbai last three questions of the quiz Muhammad Quli Qutub Shah had laid its foundation stone but Aurangzeb completed its construction when he invaded Hyderabad name the mosque that you see in the picture which is named after the city where the soil was brought from So it's called the the Kabuli Masjid. Not the Kabuli Masjid. Not from Kabul. Yes, Bangalore. Mecca Masjid. Mecca Masjid plus twenty. This is the Mecca Masjid in Hyderabad plus twenty for Bangalore. Before we go to the last two questions, let's look at the scores. Chennai Erudit still leading with hundred points. Close on their deals. Is Bengaluru Aces on 80? 20 points adrift is Mumbai. 50 apiece is Global Geniuses and Delhi Brainiacs and Kolkata Wizards on 30. Last two questions of the quiz. Okay, for Bangalore, your direct. Identify this nationwide culinary custom. of a country mainly transmitted from mothers to daughters or mothers in law to daughters in law or orally among housewives that was included in the representative list of unesco's intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2015 is it about pickles uh, not quite pickles not quite pickles and not only pickles chennai this is uh, possibly the uh, mexican custom of passing recipes generation to generation not quite it calcutta you going Yes. Balsamic vinegar. No, not the right answer. Delhi. Hmm. This is uh, the uh, Neapolitan pizza. Pizza no, from not, Naples. Not the pizza from Naples. The global team. Um. I would say this is. Mm. This this is just pizza dough in all of Italy, not just Neapolitan pizza. Pizza dough, not quite Mumbai. Um, I just say this is uh, Halim in Saudi Arabia. Halim in Saudi Arabia. It was direct for Bangalore, right? Can we take more um, guesses? <laughs> <laughs> But not for points, of course. As long as you don't make us hungry. <laughs> Guacamole? No, not that. Not that. Ah, that's a good guess, actually. Yeah, it's a little, little, little simpler. Something that all of us have had. This is kimchi making. Oh, oh half lovely. points for the <laughs> Oh, but it's in DPR Korea, is it? That's it's nice. It's in DPR Korea. Yeah, it's in DPR Korea. Correct. It's kimchi making from DPR Korea. Specifically DPR, not me. <laughs> okay. The last question of the quiz. Uh, appropriately asked, Tony. Okay. Okay, the last question of the quiz. Chennai, you hold on to it. You win the quiz. It goes to Bangalore. I think Bangalore has a chance. Let's see the last question. Question number twelve. Here it comes. During the Republic Day parade, only the Sikh regiment of the Indian Army salutes twice. 
the first one is for the president of india what is the second one for uh the second one is for the uh, paramvir chakra winners not the paramvir chakra winner for kaka ready points uh for the defense minister the original defense minister was babu singh was sheik not the original defense minister delhi the doctor from army if he has a clue to this Mm. Probably uh, second salute is for their uh, uh, own uh, insignia, the Nishan Sahib and the Sikh regiment insignia. Dek Dek Fateh, that is what they call it. Not the right answer. Global geniuses. Um, I would say the salute the Guru Granth Sahib. Not the Guru Granth Sahib. um mumbai will say they specifically salute guru gobind singh not guru gobind singh passed on bangalore they salute the india gate because it's the commemorates the world war 1 uh, soldiers not the right answer bangalore Some of you were, were close in the right direction, but the answer the, is, is Gurudwara, right? Gurudwara. Oh, oh no! Gurudwara. The memorable. Ah, the Sikh Ganj Gurudwara to commemorate the martyrdom yes. site of the ninth Sikh Guru, Guru Tegh Bahadur. So that's why the Guru Tegh. I was Guru. like one Guru removed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was it. Let's look at the final scores. Okay. Chennai Aerobics winning with 100 points, followed by Bengaluru Aces on 80, Mumbai Geeks on 60, Global Geniuses on 50, Delhi Brainiacs on 50, and Kolkata Wizards on 30. That brings us to the end of the first quiz of the Pro Quizzing League Clash of the Titans. Leading the current leaders of the leaderboard is Chennai, followed by Bangalore, Mumbai, Global Geniuses, Delhi, and Kolkata. There are other quizzes coming up from tomorrow. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow the league as it happens. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow at 7 p.m.